Hey guys, what's going on? It is Black T, and I'm back. Um, sorry, it's been a while from my last video. Um, just I have not been feeling well, and I've been having a ton of stuff to get done. Um, so it's kind of been hit or miss uh, as far as when I can record and and uh, if I can record. A lot of times, my voice has just been kind of destroyed so it hasn't hasn't worked out so well um but yeah i'm working on my mob spawner you you saw a little bit of it um kind of earlier so this is the the concept is um it's going to be a gravity trap so that the mobs fall um down and it's going to actually extend quite a ways still. And it'll it'll probably even just go right into this hole. Uh, I under, underestimated the size of it, I think. Um, this is going to go down another... What's up, Creeper? Four. So this will go one, two, three. And then I believe the... the bottom will be right there. Yep. The creeper. Just, just just die. It's easier that way. It's easier for the both of us. Then we don't have to get a divorce and divorce papers and attorneys. If, if you just died, it'd be easier. Wait. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's, that's not a better way than divorce. I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, Never mind. So, anyways, yeah. So I, I'll have to go down another four here. So I'll bring this one out all the way. Actually, it'll be two, three, four. That's where it's gonna be. Okay. Yeah, not here. This is the wrong spot. Um, and then I'm going to kind of enclose it in this circle looking thing so that it'll kind of gradually get smaller and smaller. Um, I don't know if it'll look like a funnel, but that's kind of my idea. We'll see how that, if that actually happens or not. Um, if it looks like a funnel, that'd be sweet kind of the idea I was going for, but if it doesn't, I'm sure it'll look at least interesting. Um, no reason to have a, I don't know, I, just, I feel like a big square mob spawner would look kind of dumb um, and a little boring. So, hopefully this, this will look pretty awesome. Going inside, this is what, I got my my furnace is here cooking away I'm making charcoal to cook stone um, this is kind of an observation platform I'll probably end up putting putting stuff in here and maybe even making this my my actual home uh, and then maybe building up top and then I think I'm gonna put in and by I think I mean I will put in a staircase right here so that I can go down and um, check out my mob spawner if, if there are any issues. I think I'll probably even um, put in some sort of way to shut off the mob spawner, which means I'll have to figure out how to do that since it's not um, gonna be just one square, uh, one even square all the way down. It'll kind of get smaller and smaller. Um, it's, it's gonna have to be a semi-intricate system to actually shut off the spawner. So, we'll see what happens with that, and, um, you know, it'll probably take a little bit for me to figure out how to actually make that work but that's okay um, 
go down here. This should be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, so if I curve around this way, just do this quickly ish, quickly ish, whatever that means. And go right here. Yeah, that should put me in here. Okay, cool. I'll just block this off. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, so that puts me in here. I don't know if I'll make a door here or or what. Um, I'll maybe put in a piston door so that this kind of closes flush. Um, and then the whole idea here is to put holes in the floor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that here so that the mobs fall. Um, I need some torches. There's one. Do I have any other ones? No, I don't. Weird. Um, I saw this design from Monkey Farm. He has this in his world, and it looks pretty slick. Um, there definitely are a few issues with this type of um, spawner. Uh, one of the problems is that you have to be fairly close for the mobs to start moving around. Um, they changed that in the last Minecraft update. So for the, the real release, the 1.0, they changed it so that uh, mobs don't really walk around unless you're close. And I think they did that to reduce lag. But then when you make a spawner or something like this, you, you have issues because you need the mobs to walk around. Um, also, I'm going to put signs lining this whole thing, which is going to be annoying. But if you've watched a video of any other type of spawner, they use signs, um, places where they want the mobs to drop. And the reason why is because mobs view signs as a block, and um, and they they walk on them. But if you have a sign, you'll fall. So that's a good way to get your mobs to just kind of fall down t to each level. The problem with some mob spawners that use water. Uh, is that you don't get endermen. And the reason why is endermen and water do not mix. They're like the wicked... It's like the Wicked Witch of the West. So, what I'm doing here is... Uh, um, kind of going too wide. And I don't know if this is going to come back to bite me in the butt. Um, most of the other ones have a spawning pad of three. But I'm doing a spawning pad of two. Oops. Two. Yeah. Um. Not sure why. I just kind of drew it up like that. I guess we'll see how how it works, if it works. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put half slabs on here so I don't get spiders spawning. Um. I really don't need string at all, ever, for anything. Um, and I'd rather have more uh, skeletons, creepers, endermen spawning <coughs> instead of having spiders spawn. Plus, they, they can't fall down these one wide holes. So... Yeah, which I think that's... Yeah, so I'll put a sign <coughs> on these so then 
the creepers will be like, oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, shoot. And they just keep falling down uh, lower and lower to different levels. Pick all this stuff up. <coughs> the one thing I did find, um, which I should have known this, but while I'm making this, and one of the reasons, not only... Um, so I like the bricks, the um, smooth stone bricks. I like the way they look, but also uh, the cool thing about that is that if I break smooth stone, it turns into cobble. If I break the smooth stone brick, um, it's still smooth stone brick, so I don't have to cook it again. Whereas if I break just smooth stone, you have to cook it again and it wastes more coal. Just pretty annoying. So um, this is gonna be kind of short. I got a lot of work to do still on this, and I plan on doing that um, kind of right now. Um, but it's gonna be a lot of kind of semi-slow and tedious work. So I'm not gonna record all of it. Um, to show you guys, but once I get done, once I get um, to a point where I can test it out, we'll, um, I'll come back on and, and show you. This is, I'll show you here, this is kind of the idea, it'll be pitch dark in here, pitch black, and monsters will spawn. And I'm going to have it um, to where when they fall, they don't actually die. Um, but they fall far enough to where I can, I can punch them once or twice. And I can um, then farm their XP. So that'll be kind of nice. Um, and it should produce more... Uh, it should produce more mobs than my current mob trap uh, with with my zombies so we'll see how that how that works see how that um, how that goes and uh, you guys get to come along for the ride all right y'all take it easy peace Yeah, so today I'm going to do a farm tutorial on how to kill some zombies. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. We got some watermelons. They look like the watermelons. Okay, maybe they're not watermelons. They're the zombies. What? It's a zombie. I'm going to press this button. And it's going to close something. Then I'm going to press another button. And it's going to make these guys hurt. Look at that. Oh, look at that hurting.